When was the last time you asked, would you like to dance? Wow, that sound beautiful. That felt good. It's been so long. Would you like to dance? And that means that things were looking pretty good. You were feeling pretty good. And you were at the right place. And usually the music is right on time. And there he is, that dancing partner of yours. And you say, I got to make a mind. And you get up and you say, would you like to dance? It could be something as innocent as that. Or it could be just a response to the moves that you're making to the girl that you love so much. It could be a statement that said to that woman that you could not let get away. You just wasn't having it. And you said, please be mine. And she said, okay. And maybe you got a couple of kids. Maybe they're going away to college. Maybe they've graduated. Maybe they are adults. And you perhaps could be kind of older than just normal, so, so to speak. And you could still say, would you like to dance? That reflects a time when people are comfortable, not necessarily in their lives only, but in the life that their life is a part of. That means outside. The community is going good. People are engaging themselves in something that they love doing, and it's fun to them because when they get a reprieve from it or the hours for doing that is over and they can just be who in it, what free people do when they're not committed to a certain task and they laugh and they talk and they make friends and everybody knows everybody and they go to certain places and they play ball. They have pizza. They just do things, go to the beaches. They, oh man, go to the museums. They even just sit in the park, listening to music. Maybe sometimes just driving around in the cars. Would you like to dance? It's a time when the nation is one with itself and its partners with its neighbors. They all have a common interest, like driving on the highway. Everybody follows the, you know, the signs and the rules, and it'll let you get exactly where you want to go if that vehicle is cool. And if it's not, don't worry about the mule being blind. Just sit in the saddle. As long as it'll move, you hold the line. And they'll still get you there. So I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be connected to the right stuff. And the right stuff works for all of us. Now, I'm constantly coming on these video, making all these posts. And the things that I'm most concerned about is peace. I'm most concerned about prosperity. I'm concerned about freedom. I'm concerned about the joy of living. And I'm concerned about humans' dreams coming true. Now, this is something that I never heard anybody else talk about. No. I might have saw a movie called The Brave New World or something that referenced something like this. But uh, it's, my friends, it's nothing that's uniquely beautiful. And it's not an organization where somebody's trying to come up with a new scheme to make money. It has nothing to do with money. It has to do with just your, you know, your peace. It has to do with the things that you want, the things that you need, the things that you desire. Why not? Why not, ladies and gentlemen? Look at it. Every last human being on the face of the earth craves such as that. So if you crave it, ask yourself, why not? I know we've been taught and we've been led to believe that in order for that to happen, somebody has got to suffer. I know it. we've been taught it means you got to outsmart somebody, that you are in some competition, and or you come up with some great discovery that society needs and you market it. You know, we've been told that. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not the only way. That way leaves a lot of pain and suffering. That way has in its path lying and cheating and stealing. It has crime and violence and poverty. It has... Hatred, 
racism, bigotry, you name it. All of those things come by the fact that we choose to live this way instead of the way that would eliminate this. It's a way that's saying that the power is not in stuff that you're able to put your hands on and claim as your own. Because all the stuff that you need to do the things that you do belongs to another. It belongs to someone you cannot see, you cannot touch, you cannot feel. It doesn't belong to somebody who was here first. It doesn't belong to someone who got a gun and threatened you and put so much fear in you, gave it up, and they claim it as their own. It doesn't belong to them. It still belongs to the only one it ever belonged to. And if we know that, then why do we honor something other than that? Why do we honor somebody claiming land when it belongs to God? I mean, there's a way to use land, but I'm saying when you, you know what I'm talking about. So, if the, if you know the truth, you don't honor that. You know that the power of the ownership of this earth, we never seen it before, but we do see the earth. So we know it's real. We as human beings are really like the earth. The earth replenished itself and so do we. But we didn't make ourselves. I mean, that's a reality that we have to accept. And so if we do that, and we all have the same craving, but think about it. Ask yourselves. Ask one another. Why don't we try this and see what the answer is? You know what they're going to say? I don't know. I thought maybe. They're always going to say, I thought of something like that. But that's, now, my friend, we get a chance to deal with that because I've put it before you. Why not? And it's simple. That same power that made you made all of us, and each of us got a gift, something that we can turn into a career. It is, and it would give us our greatest joy if we had the opportunity to do it, and we Switch the system around, giving people the opportunity to be engaged in employment and careers. Give them the ability to educate themselves without any problems, any hangups, so that they could prepare themselves to be the best that they could ever be. Give them the opportunity to not have to worry about struggling for any of that uh, resources or in health care. We are open. This is not the medicine. The knowledge of medicine, the need for medicine, and the service of medicine, that's all part, that's all God. That's not you. <laughs> You're just a tool being used. That's God. And why is it for all people that needs whatever your service is? That's God. You can't sell that. What did it look like me giving this to the truth? I'm giving it to you, right? And you are taking the time to listen to it. What if I put it in a bag or put it on tape or video and say the only way you can get this message to freedom is buying it? I mean, I can't even let that cross my mind. <laughs> but that's the way life is. Whatever they got, they taught you to sell it. If you can't make no money off of it, it ain't no good. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we should, at the age of 90 years old, if we are married, we should be able to say, would you like to dance? If we're 80, 70, 60, we should be able to say, would you like to dance? If we're 50, 40, 30, we should say, would you like to dance? If we're 20, in our teens, we should say, would you like to dance? Again. I'm talking about again. I'm talking about, you know, the the bop, the swings, the step-ins, and I'm only naming the dance that I'm familiar with, you know. All those other dances and stuff, I'm, I'm not too cool with that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll leave it there. I just wanted to be a little sentimental, and I hope it was. And until next time, this is Eddie saying goodbye.